If you wanna have good vision until you die, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sai Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. And today we are talking about the 10 things you should never do to your eyes. And unfortunately, I see many of my patients doing these. So I do have to educate them in the office to not do these things. So remember, your eyes are one of the most sensitive as well as most important organs in your body. But many of us are not doing what they should be doing to properly take care of them. And I realize that a lot of this is unintentional. So I wanted to make this video to share with everyone kind of the bad habits that can actually cause long-term damage to your eyes. Make sure you watch till the end because number 10 is something I do see people doing all the time, so be sure to stick around. Number one is using get the red out eye drops without understanding or knowing the cause of your red eye. So over the counter decongestant drops, uh, which are constantly saying like we get the red out, but the problem is that while they're fine for one-time use here and there, if you have a special event and you don't want your eyes to look red, I think it's okay to use it on a one-off occasion. But if you don't actually understand why your eyes are red, you could be just covering up a real problem. And so those are actually not hydration drops. They're not artificial tears. What they do is they constrict the blood vessels in your eyes so that your eyes appear white, but they don't actually solve the problem. So eye redness can be from a variety of things so make sure that if you have red eyes get it checked out don't just use the get the red out eye drops because they're not solving your problem number two is aggressively rubbing your eyes so i know that eye rubbing in the moment can feel really good but unfortunately it can actually cause pretty serious harm not only does it you know, break the blood vessels in your eye and it can cause even more eye redness, but long-term eye rubbing, especially kind of using the knuckle and rubbing right here in the center can cause corneal changes that can lead to something called keratoconus, which is actually a permanent change in the shape of your cornea. And this is a real eye disease. It's a real eye problem. It's not something that is easily reversed or treated. So certainly if you're having a lot of eye itchiness that's leading to eye rubbing, again, figure out why your eye is itchy. If you have allergies, then address the allergies. Maybe that's using artificial tears or an antihistamine eye drop. Talk to your eye doctor, talk to your allergist. Maybe they can help you with other solutions like using a daily oral allergy medication, but constant eye rubbing is really not good for you. It's not good for your kids. So something you just wanna avoid. Now, if you absolutely have a really bad itch and you want to rub your eye, I always recommend rubbing kind of around the eye and not putting pressure on the eyeball itself. Number three is thinking that you have great eye health because you have perfect vision. So just because your central vision is clear, that does not mean that your eye health is great. In fact, silent conditions like glaucoma can cause vision loss without any warning signs. And I can't tell you how many times I have seen a patient who has not been to the eye doctor in years because their central vision is so good, but they have moderate to advanced glaucoma because they just haven't had a full complete eye exam with a dilation that looks at the optic nerve. Now remember, just refilling your glasses or contacts prescription may not be the same as getting a full eye exam. So you need to be an informed patient when you renew your glasses and contacts and ask yourself, have you been dilated? Did someone look at the back of your eye? Have they talked about the health of your retina? Have they talked about the health of your optic nerve? Because if that's not happening and you go several years without getting that checked, that can lead to big problems. Number four is not managing chronic health conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure. So your eye's health is very closely tied to your overall health. Uncontrolled diabetes and uncontrolled blood sugar can lead to diabetic retinopathy. And this is actually a leading cause of blindness in the world. And high blood pressure also can damage blood vessels in your eyes as well. So you wanna keep your blood sugar under control. You wanna keep your blood pressure under control and any other chronic disease that you have, ask your doctor if it has impacts on the eye. And if it does, you may need to see an eye doctor regularly. Number five is for my contact lens wearers. Do not sleep, swim, or misuse your contact lenses. Contact lenses are really safe. I've been wearing mine for, I don't know, 30 years at this point, and they are very safe when they're used appropriately. So don't sleep in them, don't swim in them. If you happen to 
swim in them by accident, get out of the pool, take them out, change them out, try to use dailies because daily contacts are just easier in terms of maintenance as well as, hey, if you happen to jump in the pool, you can just throw them out and grab a new pair. So I'm a big fan of dailies, but if you're gonna wear contacts, just make sure you're using them the correct way. Number six is for my parents. You don't want to let your kids hold their device or hold a screen too close to their face, especially for hours and hours and hours. This puts them at higher risk for getting more nearsighted with time. And it's not just about the glasses. You also want to think about how much screen time they're getting engage your pediatrician, make sure that they're not getting too much screen time and spending time outdoors and taking screen breaks and getting at least two hours outdoors is very helpful for children to delay the onset of myopia if they're gonna get it. Number seven is for all my makeup users, don't use expired makeup. Old eye makeup, especially mascara and eyeliner can carry really harmful bacteria and using expired products and not replacing them regularly can lead to eye infections, styes, and in some cases, pretty bad corneal infections as well. So you don't want to put stuff in your eye that is expired or really beyond its date of use. Number eight is one I see all the time, unfortunately, and it's self-medicating with other people's eye drops. So eye drops are not one size fits all. And sharing eye drops, especially if someone had an infection and you're using the same antibiotic, but you're not sure if you have the same infection, that is not a good idea. It is very possible that that person may have touched their eye when they were putting in the eye drops, and now you're using that same eye drop to treat something that you're not sure is even the right treatment for what you have. So it's important to just go into the doctor if you think you need some kind of prescription medication, but don't share eye drops with other people. It's never a good idea. Number nine, also really common, is skipping sunglasses in the non-summer months. So of course we all wear sunglasses or tend to wear sunglasses when it's really sunny out and it's the summer months, but you should still be wearing sunglasses even in the winter months, especially if you're in places where there's gonna be a lot of snow because actually snow is really reflective and that UV light is still hitting your eyes. Not just your eyes, but it's hitting your eyelids and sun exposure to your eyelids and UV exposure to your eyelids can cause eyelid cancer and then also excessive sun exposure to your eye itself can make cataracts grow faster. If you're doing activities like skiing where you're gonna be out for several hours or golfing where you're gonna be in the sun for several hours, make sure that you're buying sunglasses that also wrap around so you get the protection from the sides as well. And number 10 is my favorite, which is trying self remedies or diagnosing eye problems at home without the input of a medical professional. So I have seen some pretty interesting things in the clinic where patients have come in after using lemon juice on the eye or breast milk on the eye and it's not going to solve whatever issue you have because neither one of those are treatments that actually work for any eye problem so don't self-diagnose don't self-treat go into the eye doctor get a professional's opinion because if it's something not serious great but if it is and once your eyes are damaged it can be very difficult to reverse that damage. So you really want to make sure that you are getting your eyes professionally evaluated for the right solution. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe below. And if you found these helpful, remember to share these tips with a friend. I'll see you in the next video.